I was just pointing out that there is a huge mismatch between the number of bonds purchased and the number of bonds and cash in the data submitted by the state bank to the election commission. They are showing 18,871 bonds purchased, but showing 20,421 bonds redeemed. The details of the number of bonds shown by the uh, in the data. He is gathering the details for a future PIL. Malod, so let bonds, remains in. Uh... He remains so, relevant. Rob, Rob, please permit me. Why not the CBSU declare the order? Heard everybody, Mr. I was just pointing out that there is a huge mismatch between the number of bonds purchased and the number of bonds and cash in the data submitted by the state bank to the election commission. They are showing 18,871 bonds purchased, but showing 20,421 bonds redeemed. The total amount of bonds purchased is 12,155 crores. And the amount redeemed is twelve thousand seven sixty nine crores. That is five hundred and fifty crores more than what was purchased. Now the explanation for this could be because the data is from twelfth April. At that time, the bond purchase was was going on on twelfth April twenty nineteen. It was going on. It what is possible is that some of these bonds were purchased prior to twelfth April twenty nineteen, but redeemed after twelfth. April 2019, and that is why there is a mismatch. But I just wanted to point out there is a very large mismatch. There is no Malad. These figures are not authentic. I have given the eighteen thousand versus probably sponsored NGOs are Malad fudging the figures and bringing their own Malad. Uh, your lordships are aware there is a beautiful uh, Malad uh, uh, <laughs> quotation by Einstein that some people use statistics like a drunken man uses lamp posts. More for support than for illumination. I'm just showing the number. I'm saying that eighteen thousand. This is what happens. Okay, okay, now leave it at that. Uh, all those numbers are not right. Since Malad, because all this is going to play out, the numbers are not right. The corrected numbers were not given in our application. I will call a pass. Okay. Uh, this may I M M A S L please. Uh, in the para B and C of Paragraph 221 of the judgment of this court dated 15 February 2024. Uh, the direction to the SBI to submit details of bracket one, the electoral bonds purchased, semicolon, and bracket T two, uh, political parties which have received contributions through electoral bonds. Specifically, since the date of the interim order dated 12 April 2019, stop. In other words, uh, all details which have been directed to be furnished in the operative directions of this court are with reference to the interim order. Uh, are on the basis. Uh, don't say on the basis of. Are with effect from the date of the interim order, namely 12 April 2019. Full stop. The relief which has been sought in the MA for predating the 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 point of disclosure uh, would amount to a substantive modification of the judgment, and hence cannot be dealt with in a miscellaneous application. Full stop. The miscellaneous application is therefore not maintainable and is accordingly dismissed. I want I want one more relief to prevent another round of contempt proceedings. Would your lordship just for a minute? <laughs> Have my affidavit in compliance for. What is it that you want to uh, classification? Yes. Marat, there was when when we gave your lordship. That's why I can see all this story has started. When we gave your lordship the original figure of twenty two thousand two one seven bonds, we had by mistake that was from first of April, not on twelfth of April. If your lordship just sees para four and Marat, everything will be over because I know where this is going. Where Mr. Bushan is going. Please see para four of my compliance affidavit for one second. Yes. And uh, and please, I I would invite your lordship to say your lordship to accept this. We have given the figures, my lord. There is no mismatch. There is nothing of the sort. The if your lordship 
see so that that is not going to all that. I mean, no, 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 no. I have to, I have to convince my lord. I have complied with the order. I am just saying. By the compliance affidavit, it's a we compliance have. affidavit of your chairman and managing director. We just stay, we have accepted that. Uh, Please say your lordships have accepted our compliance affidavit. That will put an end to all this. Uh,